Five years ago, I was making this show Bite Jacker with my friend John. Welcome to Bite Jacker, the best source for downloadable and independent games in the universe. Everything else in my life was going poorly. I couldn't get any auditions and I was waiting tables and fixing computers and my dog and I were sharing ramen, which is bad for people, but like super bad for dogs and throwing myself into a show about the games I loved and the people who make them made me feel better. No one was watching and I couldn't buy food or pay my bills. And when you throw yourself entirely into your work and your work isn't going well, you begin to feel like you just don't have a place in the world. And then Revision 3 asked if we would put ByteJacker on their network. It was uh, Zach Miner and Ryan Vance who called and they said, we like your stuff. You're doing a good job. This is valuable. Uh, and I don't think I will ever be able to put into words how much that meant to me. Uh, and then after a year of doing the show independently, they asked me to move to San Francisco and work there full time. And I was terrified, uh, but I did it. And some of the most brilliant people I have ever met are in that office. And not just the ones that you see on the shows, but the ones who make the shows happen. The, the shooters and the editors and the writers and the producers and the people who figure out if a show is even worth doing and how to fix it if it isn't and how to get the right people watching it. There is so much talent there and it seemed insane to me that they would give me an equal voice. Uh, I showed up with what I thought was this misfit brain full of bad, impossible ideas, and all of a sudden, I was in this place where people didn't just understand me, they knew how to make those weird ideas happen. See what it's like in the cage during a kitten frenzy. I've been given so many amazing opportunities at DDN. I mean, obviously to be asked to host and write for D News and Hard Science, right? To be given a chance to teach and learn new stuff every day. We found water on Mars! There's water on Mars! Ah! My job for years on Bite Jacker and New Challenger and Red 3 Games was just to have friends over and talk about games with them. That is insane. It is insane that you can do that. I came to DDN feeling like a misfit, and I still do, but now I feel like misfit is actually a viable life direction. That no matter how out of step you feel, there's a place for you where you will find like-minded people and you will be able to do brilliantly insane things together. And I wanna thank everyone at Discovery Digital Networks for letting me be a part of all of those brilliantly insane things. Rear shields, oh man, our rear shields are taking a beating. I don't know what to do about that. John, I don't wanna talk about it. Today, after almost four years, I am leaving Discovery Digital Networks. We've already finished with Nature Hates You. Uh, there are gonna be new hard science videos until May. Uh, I'm obviously leaving D News, but Trace and Lacey are not going anywhere and the show will not slow down at all. So what's next? Well, I am heading to LA with absolutely no plan, but I'm also feeling like after four years, it is time for a new start and to spread some of the brilliant insanity to other places. I do know that I'm going to start doing stuff here on my own channel. I'm not sure what, probably just videos of my descent into unemployed insanity, so subscribe if that sounds interesting to you. Thank you to everyone who's watched my stuff or followed what I've done with DDN over the last few years. I've gotten to know a lot of you. You have been super great to me and hopefully I will have more stuff to show you soon.